In my time in ministry, I have seen some, some really terrible denial where a doctor tells you that you must go in for immediate surgery and the person says, no, no, I don't believe that I have this. I believe that God will heal me. Well, perhaps God was sending the doctor to give that message. I've seen other denial, too, where a person's in a very bad, destructive relationship, and they kept denying and denying and denying until they actually got harmed. In John 16, verse 13, it says, When the Spirit of truth comes, God will lead you into all truth. Catherine Marshall has said the single most important element in any human relationship is honesty with yourself, with God, and with others. The words from the 16th chapter of John, they're straightforward. The spirit of truth will lead us to truth. Yet, we live in a world that allows and even sometimes encourages us to avoid the truth or deny it altogether. M. Scott Peck once said this, Truth or reality is avoided when it's painful. Scott Peck said, Mental health is an ongoing process of dedication to reality at all costs. And he was indeed correct. We're never completely healthy if we're in denial of what is facing us right in front of our eyes. Today, as you fulfill the responsibilities that God has placed before you, ask yourself this question. Do my thoughts and my actions bear witness to the ultimate truth that God has placed in my heart? Or... Am I allowing the pressures of everyday life to overwhelm me and draw me away from God's truth? And then ask God to lead you by God's Spirit beyond denial to the truth. You'll have a strength to infill you that will help you to overcome your insecurity to doing so. God bless you.